Hey everyone, I'm Julio Ramon, product manager here at ICANN, and today we are going to balance the Beholder EC1. So the camera we're using today is the Sony a7S II with a Zeiss 35mm lens. Now before we begin, I want to talk a little bit about the EC1. It is a three-axis handheld stabilizer. It has full 360-degree motors. And there are a total of five balance adjustments that can be made, each one highlighted through one of these yellow knobs. By pushing each adjustment in, we are in a way starting from zero, and we can work our way out as we balance. Now that each motor is set, we will go ahead and remove the quick release plate. And to do that, you have to open this yellow knob here located in the center. So we will open that up. As you can see, the quick release plate is now loose. Now, to remove it, simply push in the safety pin and pull the quick release plate out. Now I need to point out that the quick release plate system has these two arrows here that show you which direction you need to mount the camera. So the camera goes into the EC1. As you can see here, the arrow is pointing in and the quick release plate follows that. So remember that when you mount your quick release plate to the camera. Okay, so we will move this over to the side grab our camera, like I mentioned earlier, the arrow will be pointed towards the back of the camera because the camera will be going into the EC1. So we will flip our camera over. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mount the quick release plate as close as I can to the center of gravity of the camera and lens. Now, since we're working with a short little camera setup here, the center of gravity is going to be more towards the back, more towards the A7S body. So we were going to, so we're going to slide this back to about here, sort of just eyeballing this. That looks good. We'll tighten that down. Okay. So we have the quick release plate ready. Let's bring back the EC1. Okay. Now we have this knob loose. We will grab the camera and slide the camera in. That click there notifies you that you're mounted into the base plate. And now as soon as we're in, we can begin the balance process right away. So the first thing you want to do is you want to slide the camera forward or back and balance the camera as best as you can along the pitch axis. So as you can see, falling back some. So we want to push the camera forward very slowly. There we go, that looks balanced. So we will lock it in place and the quick release plate is secure. Okay, now from here, we have to do another important step and that is to slide the camera as close as we can to the pitch motor located on its right side. So in order to do that, we will open up this second yellow knob located towards the bottom of that base plate, open that up and this allows us to adjust the camera either left or right. So you can see. So what we want to do is push the camera over as close as we can to the pitch motor. We will lock that in. Now, as you can see here, there's way too much weight located on this one side. So the camera is just falling over to its right. So that means we have to pull it back out, back to the left, 
And we will do that slowly until we find our balance. Slowly over to the left. And that looks good. So that's as close as we can get the camera to the pitch motor, but we found our balance. Next, what we need to do is balance the height of the camera along the pitch axis. We already moved the camera forward and back, but now we need to adjust the camera up and down. And this yellow knob here will open up and allow us to do that. Now to check the balance, what we need to do here is we need to see which direction our camera is falling. So we will tilt the camera up and as you can see, the camera is falling over, it's falling backwards. So what that means is that the camera is way too top heavy. So we need to bring the whole camera down. So we will open that up, slide the camera down. Slowly. Okay, it looks like we found, okay, it looks like we found a good bounce there. As you can see there, the camera is balanced. Now what we want to do here is we want to double check our balance by tilting the camera at a 45 degree angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to tilt the camera up 45 degrees. And if it holds its position, we're balanced. You can check it further by tilting it 45 degrees down. And it looks like we have a good setup here. Okay. So now the last adjustment that we need to make is along the yaw axis located on the bottom. What we need to do here is we need to tilt the entire EC1 forward. From there, we will see which direction that it falls and we can make our adjustments. So I'm going to tilt the camera forward. As you can see there, the EC1 is falling forward towards the camera. So what that means is we need to slide this entire system back. So we will open it up, make small adjustments, check it. Looks like we got it there. We're balanced. So now that we've found it, we can lock it, reset the entire EC1, and we're ready to go. From here, all we gotta do now is turn the EC1 on, and we're ready to shoot. For more information or videos on the EC1, you can visit us at iCanCorp.com. I'm Julio Ramon, thanks for watching.